Hey guys, Mr. K here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to record Xbox One gameplay with your voice. Now, I believe that this way is absolutely the easiest and cheapest way. Now, just a disclaimer, to any of you who wanna find a way that is completely free and doesn't require any purchases, unfortunately, that is impossible. I've looked for every single way to do that without buying anything, and there is not a way that works at all. Not even one that works, but is very bad quality. So. This way is the best way. It allows you to record your voice and your gameplay at the same time, and it works really well. It's how I make every single one of my gaming videos. So if you've seen any gaming video on my channel and wonder how I make, um, you will make like my voice, how do I put my voice into it? This is how I'm going to show you. Now, if you see it on YouTube and look up how to record with your voice, basically the YouTubers will tell you is you need to use like a streaming service to stream because making normal videos won't work through that. And I, I've even tried it, so you don't have to. Um, but every single one I've seen has not been good whatsoever. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. And I'm gonna show you how I like, move it to my editor and stuff like that, but we'll get there later in the video. So the first thing you wanna know how to do is make your videos longer on your gameplay. And what I mean by that is like, the Xbox One only allows you to record 10 minutes of gameplay, like the default. That's the default setting. But there's actually a way to make videos longer. Now, you're probably thinking, how do you do this? Well, you're going to need an outside purchase, and that is a USB stick. What this is going to allow you to do is record up to an hour of footage instead of 10 minutes. This is going to allow you to make, you know, most of you are probably going to be making around 20 to 30 minute videos, sometimes longer, but most of the time, that's all the time you need. Now there is an alternative way to do it without a USB stick and that is to splice your clips together but it's not a good and reliable way. Like you'll record 10 minutes of your gameplay, stop what you're doing in the game, start the recording over on the default record uh, software which is just hit start recording and then splice it together in an editor. The only problem with that is um, in between each clip your sound completely vanishes and it's just not reliable. So this is what you're going to be needing is a 3.0 USB 64 gig stick. And what this is gonna do is allow you to record up to an hour. Now, the way you wanna do that is first you need to format this. The way you wanna format a USB stick is by using a laptop. If you don't have a laptop, just borrow your parents and it, they probably will let you do it or just have your dad like format it for you if he doesn't trust you on his computer. So just go to your files. The untitled is what the um, USB stick is called. Right click and hit format device. Hold on. Format device, and then it will be set at a default. You wanna change it to NTFS, erase and format. Be sure you don't have any important files because it will get rid of it completely and you cannot get them back. After that, exit out and pull this out. Then what you want to do is take the USB stick after you just formatted it and stick it into the back of your Xbox. This message will pop up. And then what you want to do is go into your settings. After doing that, go down to preferences and then caption share. Type in your pin if you have one. And then it's gonna you're gonna go down to capture location. Now it's gonna set to be set to internal storage. You wanna change that to your USB stick. It's gonna be named something random. I don't know what it is, but click on it. This is going to appear. It's basically saying you can record longer. You're gonna hit confirm. And then now when you record gameplay in like, I don't know, Fortnite or whatever, it's gonna allow you to record up to an hour. Now that is, if you are a non-commentating YouTuber, there you go, that, that's how you record. But now the trick is how do you record your voice too? Now, again, I've tried to find a reliable way to do this and I actually found one, but before I found this way, uh, there was no other way at all. So how do you do it? The way it works is by recording your voice um, and your gameplay at the same time. A lot of YouTubers use this, so don't think I'm just like trying to scam you over with bad quality. So the way you wanna do it is, here's where your other outside item is going to be, a cell phone. And most of you will probably have one if you don't just borrow your parents like before. So what you're going to do is use your cell phone to record your audio. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I don't want to use a microphone on this. It's terrible. Believe it or not, you can use this microphone, a good microphone, and I'll show you how. But the first thing you want to do is find a recording software. I'm using voice memos on the iPhone, so you can use whatever you want. 
This is the microphone that I use to record. And now you're probably thinking, how the frick does that work? How do you use this microphone and record from here? That is via this thing. This thing allows you to stick an uh, end that has that sort of end and plug it into an iPhone. And this mic will work with that. So let me grab the end to the mic here. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna plug it in, try to plug it in at the same time so you can see this happen. Hold on, let me just tip the phone. Let me grab the end again, I just dropped it. Now watch, watch, watch. Boom, turns on. So now this is linked to here. Now watch, I'm gonna hit the record button. Oh, record. I'm tapping the mic. That's the, that's the microphone like this one here. Just like that and then stop recording. Alrighty, that's how you record. Now, what you're going to do is open up the game you want. Um, I'm just gonna open up Jump Force. And then what I like to do is have a preset button. So most new controllers have this button here. I preset it to stop and start recording. Now the way it works is what you're gonna do is hit the record button on your controller, or you could just open the menu and click the record button from here. But it's, it's easier to click the button here and click it there at the same time. So that when you're talking into your mic and you're recording, it's at the same time so it's like you're playing the it, it's it's being recorded at the same time so it will be in sync then you have to find a way to put it all together now the way you want to do this is via an outside app or your computer so if you have a computer and you want to use that to edit i recommend just getting a capture card because it is easier if you have a laptop and you can run good internet but if you don't and you want to know how you transfer what you just recorded to here allow me to show you so after you just recorded your gameplay and your voice at the same time, so you'll like, here, let me, let me pull it up. So after you recorded or whatever, and then you're done, that's the clip you just recorded and your gameplay at the same time, you're going to take your USB stick out and it'll, it'll tell you that you took it out or whatever. And then what you're going to do is format this again. Now, if you are using your computer to edit, just insert it in there, and then you have your what you just recorded on there. And to get your voiceover, if you didn't use your computer to record the voiceover, what you're gonna do, hold on, I'm swiping out, is transfer your what you just recorded from your editor app or uh, your voiceover app to the, the stick. So basically what I mean is you're gonna, I'm using voice memos, this app right here, Basically, you're going to put what you just recorded on the stick. Now to do that, you're going to need to format this again. So basically, it's gonna get it. Now, if you, you just recorded what you um, had, so take your gameplay, what you recorded on your Xbox, and just copy it into your downloads and then format it. So when you erase the other copy, it doesn't matter because you already have it again on your computer. Format your device back to FAT32, erase and format. Take it out. X out of that. And then plug it into your phone here. Come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to do this with one hand again. See, hold on, let me get it in here and then we'll be in business. Just like that. What you're gonna do now is type in files, just like so. And here's your files. Gonna hit browse. Oh, sorry. Cancel. Search browse, and then did it? Did my thing not format? Because if it it might it might not have. Okay, this didn't format. Let me try it again. Hold on. This is this is why you need to format it. If you tried just sticking it, uh, sticking it in there right after you just recorded from your Xbox, you wouldn't see anything. So that's why you have to copy it onto your computer and then format it to what it is, FA32. Click it, erase and format. Okay, it's back to normal. 
Now I can unplug this and that. And then you plug it into your thing here. And boom, like so, it just appeared. This is the untitled is the USB stick. And what you're gonna do is hit click on it. Oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. Untitled. Now it's gonna have nothing on it because you copied your gameplay onto your computer, so you don't need it. Now what you're going to do, you're probably thinking, how to how do I um move my voiceover? So go to the voiceover app you used, voice memos, and um this is the clip, just a random one on my dad's phone I'm using to show you how this works. You're just going to hit save to files here at the bottom. Untitled. Now, hold on. Just save it. It's going to save to your files. Go back to it. Now it's not gonna be right there, so you're gonna have to move it. So go to downloads. Um, let me find the PDF of the voice. Hold on. Okay, home two. That's the sound bite we just downloaded. Hold on, hold it. And then hit move on my iPhone, browse. Untitled. And then hit copy. Uh, copy. And then go back to uh, the untitled or your USB stick. There it is. There's your recording of your app from the um, video recorder or your voice memos or whatever you're using. Then after that, unplug it. Stick it in here. And boom, you have it on there. Put it into your editing software, put them at the same time, do whatever. Now, that's how you do it if you have a computer. Like I said, just get a capture card if you have a computer. Now, you're probably thinking, what do you do now if you don't? So, what you're going to need is basically your phone again. So, from here is where you move it into the editing app I use. Now, the editing app that I use is the best editing app I've ever used. If you've seen any of my content on my channel, any sort of edit that you've seen has been made through this iPhone app. I'm telling you how good it is. It it will cost a little bit. I'll explain mine in a second. Not the app, but something inside the app. You should get it if you actually want to make serious YouTube videos because this thing is phenomenal. So just to recap what we've done. Record an hour video by using a USB stick. Record your gameplay and your voice at the same time. Take this out of your Xbox, format the device to FAT32, put it into your phone, and then in order to save what you recorded from the game onto your phone, you go to your files, and then um, I'm just going to choose a random video. So that, pretend this was in the USB stick. You would hit share and then save, to, save it to your camera roll. And then let me just go to my camera roll real quick. Let me find it. Um, this is just a random picture, but your video is going to be saved to your camera roll. Once you have that, you're, I'm gonna show you what to do next. Now, you're gonna, you're gonna get the app called Vlogstar. VOO vlog star it looks like that. Click on it. It's gonna open. Now, this is the app that I use to edit. It is the best way. You're gonna hit start new project. Now, I already have a video on here from when I actually recorded my Limbo gameplay. See, here it is. This is the gameplay for Limbo that I recorded. So, this this is the method I used. I took the, I recorded it on there in my voice at the same time, took it out, and then put it in here, saved it to my camera roll, and then opened this, open what was on my camera roll, this recording here, onto the app. Now, the next thing you need to do is get rid of the watermark. Now, this is where you have to buy something, and I again, I do recommend you do this because it does very well. And I, I'm telling you, it is a very good work, 
uh, thing of money. If you have money you want to spend, use it on this app if you want to do it this way. So now, what you're going to do next is get your voice onto this app here. So the way it's going to work is it's going to come through imported sounds. The way you, you move it over is by going to voice memos again. We're going to use the same recording we did and you're going to hit share on the um, thing. You're going to share it. Oh, go on, go back. Let me, let me open it again. Hold on, cancel. Okay, home two. This is the recording we, we were using. Share. And then you're going to hit, you're going to scroll on the apps you have to Vlogstar. Boom. See? And there it is. It's in what we just had, which is in music or sound, my music imported, import, imported. There's what we did. You're just going to hit the plus button, oh, the plus button. See, that's just what the sound is. Add it. Give it a second. It's doing it. And boom, right there. It just put it over. Now, see, it is the, like, coincidentally, the recording is the same length as my video, which is going to be what you recorded is going to be the same length since you did it at the same time and stopped it at the same time. So basically, since you recorded your voice and the gameplay at the same time, it's going to be completely in sync in the same amount of time. Uh, 1454, if that's how long your video was. And then basically, after that, you're going to just hit check, export it back to your camera roll, and then upload it to YouTube. Now, if you don't want to use this app, you don't have to. You can do this method with like iMovie or something, but I'm telling you, for Xbox, iPhone editing is the best way. I'm telling you, but besides computer, by transferring, but it, it is the best way. I almost dropped the phone. <laughs> so basically, this app is very good. Now, if you guys want a video on how this app works and how the edits work, allow, let me know in the comment section and I will make a video on this and showing you how good this app is. I'm telling you, it is definitely worth it. You can make so much good stuff, make very good videos, and it will be insane. So just just to be clear again, I'm going to recap one more time just so you know. So you got, you got your USB stick, right? So you're your Xbox or excuse me, format it to NTFS, stick it into your Xbox, set the capture storage to the USB stick, and then get this thing here, plug it in, plug the microphone you're using in there, go to your voice memos app, and then record this and this at the same time, hit both at the same time, make your video, talk at what you're gonna say, recording, do your doing your gameplay, stop them at the same time, Take that out, stick it into your computer, format it to FAT32 if you're moving it to your phone. If not, just copy it onto your computer. Then after that, if you're putting the gameplay on your phone to edit on your phone, stick it into the same thing we used for the microphone. Go into the files, go into the untitled after you formatted it, save it to your camera roll, and then move it to the editor app you want, this one if you want to. If you're making a voice memos, or if you're, or take, if you want to move your voiceover to your computer, stick it, stick your USB stick in, share your sound bite or whatever you're used to record your voice, move it to the USB stick and stick it into your computer if you're editing on your computer. If you're editing on here, just go to the voice memos app and share it to Vlogstar or whatever app you're using to edit. And then after that, put them overlapped like they are here. And then uh, save it to your camera roll, edit it how you want, and then upload it to YouTube. So yeah, guys, that is how I do it. And that's how the easiest way is. If you have any questions on this method, let me know in the comment section and I will be sure to answer them. And if it is too confusing, I will make another video explaining something specific. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome, stay cool, and peace.